Hello food fans, I'm all dressed up today with my cufflinks and my fancy bow tie. And the reason is we're going to make a high class meal today, extra deluxe bologna. Let me pick it up here and watch that the egg doesn't fall. Bologna sandwich, fried bologna sandwich and another kind of bologna sandwich. We're going to have two different deluxe bologna sandwiches. They're so deluxe we will call them bologna sandwiches. And I will be using bologna and bread. This is 12 grain bread. I usually use whole wheat. But whatever kind of bread you like, you can use even hamburger buns or hot dog buns. And uh, almost anything will work if you uh, add all the extra ingredients that we will be adding. So let's get started. Let's go to the frying pan and see what is cooking. One slice of bologna is frying. I will let it cook on both sides and I will add something else to the frying pan here very shortly. And we will also have bologna as it comes from the package not cooked in another sandwich. So let's uh, let this one cook a little bit. I used a little bit of a non-stick spray for the pan and also some olive oil. Turn that over and let it cook some more there. And I will add something to the pan here. A little bit of room there. And I hope we don't get too much of a mess here. And while that is cooking, I will show you some of the secret ingredients we will be using. I think I might have mentioned a tomato. This costs 36 cents. I'll be using about half of it, so less than 20 cents for the tomato. The bologna cost a dollar 39 for a one pound package, and I will be using possibly one less than one-fifth of the package, so less than 30 cents for uh, two slices of bologna. Let's see if we can flip the egg here. Might not have cooked long enough, but there we go. That will do. And this fried bologna will go on toast, and the toast will have secret ketchup on it and I won't be putting the relish or mustard on this sandwich that'll be the next sandwich I will turn the heat off here I'll just uh, continue to cook a little bit and uh, maybe flip it over one more time fried bologna is delicious and you can eat it in your kitchen or uh, when you're traveling on a boxcar cross country or you can eat it in the back seat of your Rolls Royce it will still taste good and I always shake the ketchup before I pour it because there's condensation and water builds up and it lands right on top of the ketchup but when I shake it get over here to the toast the toast will get some squirts of ketchup I like ketchup with eggs and with eggs and bologna so that'll be enough of the ketchup and now we place bologna oops and the egg onto the toast and the egg has um, still got the yellow will probably break and make a nice little tasty mess get this all put together. There's the first sandwich with bologna, fried bologna, and a fried egg, and ketchup, and 
12 grain bread made into toast. Let me take a bite of that. And it will probably make a mess as the uh, egg breaks. It is quite good. Very, very good. And this entire meal with two bologna sandwiches, deluxe style. I might add a can of beans and the whole meal will come in for under two and a half dollars. And I have some beans here. I got the chili hot beans. Get a spoonful. Some on the plate near the egg yolk there. You also can fry a potato with this if you want to have potato. You have a pudding cup, 25 cents for dessert, or a slice of pie, whatever you like, or ice cream. This is good. Get some beans. And I'm going to prepare the second deluxe bologna sandwich. There's uh, bread, no cooking on this one. I'm going to place the bologna onto the bread and I will add probably a penny's worth of lettuce. Lettuce is uh, reasonably low price. This uh, lettuce I'm using right now costs 99 cents for the head of lettuce and it would make 50 of these sandwiches and I'm putting a generous amount of lettuce on there now I'll add some relish on there and get some mustard and I shake the mustard also like the ketchup get the mustard in here plenty of mustard now there's only one thing left to do and that's slice the tomato. I will slice the tomato and put it on there. And that's uh, that's a very thick slice of tomato. The beans are still good. You'd be surprised what great food you can have at home for under three dollars a meal. Let me take a bite of this uh, deluxe non-cooked bologna sandwich. It is also delicious. I do not recommend bologna more than about um, once a week. The reason being bologna I believe was a an invention not of a butcher, but of a chemist. It tastes good. Then it has nutrition. But uh, you might want to not have it every single day. But it is quite delicious. And when you serve it with uh, beans and tomatoes and lettuce, it is quite nutritious. Also, the egg was um, nutritious, uh, so uh, try it sometime. I thank you very much for watching. Let me get back to eating here.